Well, here we are, chapter nine, doing the homework. And we're still continuing with second, the clench and neuter. So that's not hard, right? It's similar to second, but not quite the same. The subject and the direct object are different. So take a look. I'll tell you what, would you like to see the vocab first? I'll let you see it. Always good to review, review, review those vocabulary words and what better way to do it with an image. So the first vocab word is fatum fati. It means fate. The derivatives are fate, fatal, and fatalist. Obviously, when somebody has a fatal accident, this has a negative connotation. There's a death involved. Um, fatalist is somebody whose outlook on life is very negative. Um, they influence others to see the, the negative side. You know what? I always want to see how God sees because he sees differently. He sees everything differently. That's how I want to see. I like this. Christmas is coming and I like that song. Do you see what I see? I want to see what he sees because if I do, I'm going to be different. I want to be different. I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be positive. And I want to see reality, right? I don't want to make up things. But the eyes of love have a huge uh, impact, uh, you know, to see people um, that what they can be. Oh, that's my heart. That's my heart. Um, so I think that's God's heart. Amen. So destiny, destiny, fate, beautiful. All right, beep. Okay. What else do we have here? Here's the second word. Ready? Forum for e. Now this is public square. I told you this picture is taken in Williamsburg and it's right in the center of the town where they meet for events. They discuss things. And this is what a forum is. You discuss the concerns for you. So forum, fori, public square, opidum, opidi, town. I gave a, a interesting tip on how we're going to remember this word because this is a hard word to remember. Um, opidum, opidi, do you see the second letter in the word town? It's an O. Zip over to here. What's the first word? O. And then what's right up here? O. Oh, 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 oh. We're in the town of O. This is the town of O. How do I know? Uh, I made it up. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, but this is just scary. Can you imagine just even being near a lion? But this lion is opening his mouth and that, and this guy named Mr. Perry, that's his name, Mr. Perry, is going to stick his head in there. Mm, he's in great peril. And that means he's in great danger. Or is he? I mean, he lived. So maybe he wasn't in danger. I know why. God was with him. But I don't know about you, but I'm not taking that risk. All right, perum, periculum, periculi. All right, frumentum, frumenti, grain, frumentatious. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Primium, primii, reward. First place. Astrum astri, it means star. Dee 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 dee. dee. <laughs> um, astronomy, astro is star, and um, um, an astronomer, an astronaut, nauta means sailor. So an ast astronaut means a star sailor. Isn't that neat? How the um, those two words together form that beautiful. Beneficium, benefici is benefit or gift. And we have a lot of benefits in life. In fact, if you're a believer, the Bible says God gave you everything up front you need for life and godliness. That's a great starting point. All right, next one. Oh, he gives me joy in the morning. Gaudium gaudii, joy. Amen. Look at her. Isn't she cute? Oh, she's so happy. And kalum kali. Now, I want you to think of your neck as a column. And you're going to remember it. Or a collar. 
Yeah, you get a collar. You have a collar. It goes or fits around your neck. Um, beautiful. All right. So there's our vocab words. You got it. All right. So go ahead to your practice sheet for homework. And you can see the vocabulary key up here. Uh, the words we just shared, just went over. And then after column neck is the linking verb est and the linking verb sunt. Est means is and sunt means are. And then I slipped in a preposition here in. Okay. Uh, we learned the linking verb last week. Uh, it's on the back of your um, chants, your verb chants, sum es est, sumus est is sunt. I am, you are, he, she, it is. We are, you all are, they are. So sunt is they are, and est is there, or uh, uh, he is, she is, or it is. All right, we got our first one here. As always, I recommend that you underline the ending. You underline the ending, okay? And um, and that's going to take you somewhere. We're, so where it's first going to take you is to let you know that you are in the second declension neuter. Um, and so actually, to be honest, uh, if you want it, oh, you can hardly see that yellow there on the first one. Sorry about that. Um, but you also, because there are other neuters, um, you might not want to bother, but... Just tell yourself it's a second neuter. So I'm adding a blue um, so you know it's a second neuter. Blue, let, me, let me take a look at the uh, the endings here, what I'm referring to. First declension is pink because its gender is feminine. Second declension is blue because it's masculine. And second neuter, it would be ideal if it could be white, but then you wouldn't be able to follow me. So I made it yellow. So second declension neuter is yellow. So we remember, um, yeah, so I'm just saying highlight those endings. Remember the endings we learned through the tune of row, row, row your boat. Um, e, o, um, o, a, orum, is, a, is. Um, e, o, um, o, a, orum, is, a, is. All right, so, so we see right away the first word. We, we fought to him is fate right? But the um, I actually gave it away and told you it was the subject noun. But you know what else it could have been? Could have been the direct object because they're the same ending. And so sometimes when you're translating a sentence, you got to kind of hmm, like do some thinking and say, if I made this the subject, would it make sense? Maybe it's the direct object. So you just got to kind of um, be okay with puzzling it out. So, but I, what I want you to do is I want you to um, do these parsing, which is asking the four questions of declension, gender, number, and case. Now, I didn't really leave myself any room there. I'm kind of disappointed there. Um, so maybe I'll do it on the side. So this is Fatum. So the first question you need to answer is what declension is it? And you know what? It's second neuter. It's second neuter. Uh, the gender is neuter. Uh, this um ending is right here. Um, uh, again, I told you it could be here. So we're in the singular column. So put an S for singular. And then I already gave it away that it's a subject noun. So you can write nominative. And remember how we translate it. The. The fate. The fate. The fate. Your destiny. Your destiny. It's a good thing we believe, uh, we know that the uh, that God, it, it says in Hebrews chapter 11, it says, by faith, you believe that the worlds were made, Hebrews chapter 3. So it's, it takes faith, but um, this faith, if you know the creator, and that's, he wants to know us. He gives you that faith. He gets a gift. And then you know your fate in your destiny is secure. All right, let's look at the second word. P, it's a, it's a fati, fati. Well, guess what? This word, I have to know the stem, F-A-T is fate. 
There's the I, so it's a second declension, neuter, singular, and it's a genitive. Second declension, neuter, singular, and it's a genitive. Now, whenever you translate a genitive, just remember you're always going to use this word of. So of. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Do you remember that song? Let your heart be light. And then it says, um, from now on our troubles will be out of sight. Something about if the fates allow. Fates, do you remember that? Do you remember that part? Uh, there's another way to write instead of of the, you can do possess it. An apostrophe S, showing possession. They both do. Four room, number three, four room, four room, four room. Four room. Now, I made a mistake here, and I didn't get to correct it. Um, four room, I said, is a PNA. That is incorrect. Um, a four room would be an I, especially it's a second declension. So I think we're going to go with the subject for this because that's incorrect. So we're going to say it's a second declension. It's neuter. It's singular. Second declension, neuter singular, and it's nominative. There it is. Boom. Yeah. One of my students said, they're so happy I made a mistake. I'm like, great. Forum wasn't fate. What was forum? The public square, right? The public square. This is the meeting place. All righty. And look at this. It's the same word, but this time it's operating as the direct object. First declension, neuter, singular, direct object. First declension, no, second declension, neuter, singular, and direct object. Now, I don't know if your teacher's going to want you to speak in, in English, so accusative is direct object, or Latin, accusative. But I usually start with English because I want your brain You'll eventually learn accusative is direct object, but I want your brain to be comfortable. There's a lot to learn, so I try not to overwhelm you. So it's translated the same, the public square. One of the, my passions is how do I get information into people's heads? And you never know where they're coming from or what they're thinking. So you try to cover all the different areas, and still, there's always something I missed. So... If you ever have good feedback to help me get better, give it to me. <laughs> Opidum. Here's that O. Remember? Oh, oh, oh. This is the town of, oh, town. Town. Second declension neuter. Opidum. Sec, uh, singular and nominative. Okay. Second declension neuter. Singular. And it is nominative. And it means the town. The town of... I don't know. Can't. Not thinking. All right. Look at this. Here's the same word town, but we have an IS ending. And up here, I said it could be an indirect object or an object of the preposition. Now, I'm going to this column because I'm in second declension. I'm teaching you. And how I teach you is I have all the words. The answer is going to be right here. But buckle your seatbelt because we're going to have sentences with words that are from first declension and second declension. That's going to make your brain go a little crazy. So make sure that you answer that first question. What declension is this noun? Right? What declension is this noun? And we're all the words we're dealing with here, I think, are right here. So I made it easy for you. All right. So this is right here. It can be the direct object, which would be to or for the towns, or by, with, from the towns. Second declension, neuter, plural. Second declension, neuter, plural. And it's either a dative or an ablative. It's either to or for the towns, or by, with, from the towns. Okay, frumentorum. That was that word for grain. You can see the orum accent. Don't get mixed up and say um. See the complete ending. Students have just 
say, oh, that's a direct, no, this is the stem. So don't get me stems and endings. Don't, don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush. My boys are always in a rush. They want to go outside and play, get their homework done and go play. This is play. If you remember the Latin word, ludus means school, game, or play. And we're playing. We're playing Latin. Okay, so remember, whenever we do a PNA, we always have the English word of. Of the greens. Second declension, neuter, plural, PNA or in Latin genitive. Are you getting the, the, the groove here? Frumenta. Now I'll tell you, this is a tricky one. This is irritating because first declension has an ah. Well, look, look at second. Ah, but it's in the plural column. This is in the singular column. You don't know how important that first word is. What declension is it? Please answer that question and that will put you in the right column and you'll you'll not get gray early, okay? Ah and ah. So what did we say it was? Is it a direct object or is it a, um, yes, it's a direct object, all right? It's green and it's a direct object. It's second declension neuter, it's plural, right there. See that? It's translated the same as the subject. Second declension, neuter, plural, accusative, and it's the greens. You know, we went to Colorado years ago, and we went to Pikes Peak where um, the song, Oh, oh Beautiful, was uh, uh, actually written uh, for the mountains. And I opened up, and I saw the sun rising, and I sang, Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. Of course, when we went, there was no grain waving. But it says, for purple mountain majesty. The mountains were purple. You wouldn't believe it. I was in shock. That's why I broke out in song, to which my husband was, <sighs> um, number nine. Primia, primia, primia. What did we say it was? Subject? Oh, we did, we did, we did. So here we go again. Answer that question or you're going to be over here. What declension is it? Second, neuter, plural, and nominative. Okay, you can do it. Second, neuter, plural, and nominative. The, remember primium, the rewards, the rewards the rewards. All right, you can do these. There's an O. Here it is right here. O. What's the next one? Oh, it's also O. Oh, that's interesting. So here's the word star. So it's two or four the star or by with from the star. Pay attention. The direct indirect object and the um, object of the preposition, same ending. So you have to kind of mess with the word when you're translating to see which uh, job it's operating. I think that's one of the most difficult things when you're beginning Latin is what job is this word operating in the sentence? Well, you got to, this is why Latin is good exercise. Beneficium, beneficio, gaudio. <gasps> gaudé, gaudé, second neuter singular, dative for the joy. For the joy. Oh, I just love that word. Maybe if I could spell it right. He gives me joy. All right. Here's, hey, here's the same word. Joyce. Joyce with a plural. Kali of the neck, right? Now let's do this one before we hang up here. The fate of the town is in danger. Whenever you have English, you label all the words. So they're all labeled. And just remember when you have any word of, just like we're referring to the genitive. So don't say, oh, that's a prepositional phrase. Technically you're right, but not in Latin here, okay? So go ahead and write the stems for fate, F-A-T, the stem for town, O-P-P-I-D, the 
is is just est that's what i um told you up here is is est and then the stem for danger with mr perry is p e r i c u l now we need some endings so you're going to ask those four questions what declension is this noun well every one of these are in the first okay so it's first declension we're going to go right here right here to this um it's it's neuter um now we want the job so we're looking for a subject noun and then let's see if it's singular or plural it's singular so second declension neuter singular what's the ending um it's um that's what we're going for um okay um the fate of the town of the town well we already got the stem now we need to notice the job what declension is it second neuter it's a pna and it's singular second declension neuter singular pna what is that it's an i ay, 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 ay. all right there you go the fate of the town is in oh i forgot my in oopsie let me put my in in you know what in is in it's my preposition in is in we love easy don't we all right now i need my stem for a periculum oh there's my stem and it's an object of the preposition and it's singular second declension neuter object of the preposition it's singular what is it oh with the macron make it happen put it in there there you go you should make up your own sentence and then this one is plural stars heavens so we've got everything labeled let's put the stem for star a s t r um r is s u n t it's a linking verb should have said linking verb um in is in and heaven was from last week c a e l so with english just write the stems now we're going to get the endings ask the first question with declension I already told you all these words are in second declension neuter. So now let's just ask what job they're operating in the sentence. The first one is the subject, and it's plural. Subject and plural. What's the ending? Ah. So put the ah in there. Put the ah in there. And the next one is sky. The heavens. It's object of the preposition, and it's plural. Object of the preposition, and it's plural. Is with the macro. There you go. Ta-da! You can do this. Again, the, the um, homework in the book does not have these phrases and sentences, but I think you're capable of it. I think you've learned these things, depending on what grade level you're in. I think you can do it. It's not hard. I mean, it's systematic and sequential, and you're doing great so far, so... Keep up the good work, keep memorizing, reviewing, declining all your nouns, conjugating all your verbs, and you will be victorious. Yes. All right. See you next time. Bye.